If you are a client-based freelancer, this mini workshop is gonna teach you how to save time, headaches, and finally remove the fear of being ghosted by your leads. And I promise you, it's actually going to reduce how many leads ghost your proposals. But first, if we haven't met yet, my name's Sarah. I'm a certified Notion consultant and digital architect helping client-based businesses like yours work better online. My client proposal process right now is about 90% hands-off because I use three tools, Notion, Paperform, and Paperform's native Stripe integration. Since developing this process, I've been able to achieve an 87% acceptance rate on all of our proposals, but more importantly, a 100% response rate from all of our leads, which means even those that decline communicate it. Sounds amazing, right? Well, I didn't always have this kind of success, and it wasn't until 2021 when I started to quote, workshop my workflow, as my brilliant friend Christina says, to build a much better automated process my agency still relies on today. And that process is exactly what I'm gonna walk you through right now on how to set up. So go grab some coffee, open a new form in your paper form account, and let's get started. So to kick things off, I use a Notion database to track all of my proposals. Anytime a new lead enters our pipeline from places like a website form or an email, they get added as a new inquiry. And from there, we host a sales call and then prepare their proposal. As you can see, the proposal is really straightforward. That includes info on timeline, deliverables, and budget. Then to close out the proposal, we have a response section with our paper form embedded to capture the lead's decision in hiring us. Now, I wouldn't be me if I didn't share a few hard rules that I had at my agency. And one of those is that being ghosted is only cool on Halloween. And so we do require a response on that form no matter what. Because of the way I've built our response form though, there should be no guilt for us or the lead by saying no. And you can learn more about how I built this Notion proposal template down below. Okay, let me show you how to actually build this form out for yourself. One thing I do need to mention about our response form that you can decide for yourself to include or not is to collect a booking fee using Paperform's native Stripe integration. To set this up, simply head to your account settings, click account services, and then connect your Stripe account. Now on every form you create, you can collect an applicable payment. However, if this doesn't apply to your business model, that is totally fine too. So now let's start a new form. I like to keep our dashboard organized. So I'll file this under 2023 client forms and select start from scratch. There are two key features we're gonna utilize for every question. Question required and question visibility logic. First, let's add the base question. Do you agree to the terms of this proposal? Make sure to add both yes and no options. Now, under yes, we wanna add our fields in. Because you can use this response form as a legally binding agreement, we do need to include all contact information such as company name, contact name, email, and mailing address. All of these fields should also be tagged as required. So next, let's add the no options. Even if a lead is declining their proposal, this is a great and easy way for you to find out why. Prior to incorporating this process at my agency, I never knew why a lead would decline our proposal. Was it budget? Maybe they were just shopping around? Honestly, maybe they just didn't like me. By adding this field, we'll never have to guess again. And so here's a few reasons that I like to include. Out of budget, maybe they hired another company, maybe they're putting the project on hold until a later date, and then I also make sure to add other, just in case they have a different reason. And here's why I like this model. Leads have the ability to decline guilt-free. I think when we force leads to respond to an email saying no, there's an emotional, empathetic connection and they're afraid to hurt our feelings. And I'll be honest, email is 10 times more personal than hitting a button on a form, which usually results in us not hearing from the lead at all, hence ghosting. So I make it clear to anyone in our pipeline that this is just business. I am not going to take it personally if you choose to hire someone else, but just have the basic respect to respond. Okay, let me get off my soapbox and show you how to route these questions. Conditional formatting or question visibility logic is a feature in paper form that hides fields unless the user completes a specific action. In our case, it'll be based on if they click yes or no in the original agreement question. However, we do want one key question to remain visible regardless, and that's the company name. So of course, we know who's submitting this response. Let's add this visibility to the remaining questions. Click the settings gear next to each question and simply turn on visibility. Next, select the agreement question and the appropriate answer. And now the final question we need to add is our booking fee. 
We'll make this a required question and add some lingo about the payment. Next, we're going to route this to our yes responses and add the price to it. And now that we're all set up, we got to do a quick test. And so as you can see, everything is routing correctly. We can take this link and share or embed it into our proposals. But before we go, let's talk about what to do with all of the responses in this form. Depending on what paper form billing plan you're on, you will have access to webhooks. If so, then you can actually auto send every response into something like a Notion database. To use this feature, first create your database in Notion and add all of the questions as properties. Then head back to your form and click after submission, then integrations and webhooks. Select Notion from the list of software and click add new page to database from the dropdown. Next, you'll wanna connect your account, select the appropriate database, and then match your fields to those properties. And of course, don't forget to test once again. Now you have a proposal response form that is not only guaranteed to capture data for your business, but adds a next level automation into your workflow that saves minutes, if not hours, because you no longer have to chase leads for an answer. Thanks so much for tuning in and a huge thank you to Paperform for having me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends online so they can also improve their processes. Happy automating!